Hello teachers. In this video, we're going to talk about how Zoom works inside of Canvas. Zoom has been pushed to all of your courses, both courses that you have created, like your sandboxes, and courses that are pushed down from the hub. But we need to enable it first. So let's go to a course. We're going to scroll down to our settings. We're going to click on our navigation. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to find Zoom and we're going to enable it. It's right here. Now, if I wanted to put it in an area where I think students can see it better, so I'm going to go ahead and drag it up, maybe right below modules, and I'm going to hit save. Now I see that I have Zoom right here in my navigation. This is what the students will see. So I'm going to click on Zoom. I don't have any meetings scheduled here. So there's two options for you. One, you can go ahead and schedule a meeting. So I can say Watson Nem Kids, Family Podcast. I can choose to give it a description. I can choose to give it a time. Let's say it's going to be every day at 4 p.m. It's going to be for 30 minutes. I can choose to make it a reoccurring meeting. Now, by default, you would think we're going to make this a daily meeting, but really we want to make this a weekly meeting that repeats every Monday and Wednesday and Friday until the 14th of August. So you get to choose between an end date of a date or after a number of occurrences. Registration, you don't need to mess with. I, by default, have my video settings so that my video is turned on and that students' videos are turned on. I allow students to join by both. I can Then I can pick a better password. So I can just say, what's M? You're limited on the number, so let's just say, Podcast 20. I can go ahead and enable waiting room. And then you want to only allow authenticated users to join. And then if I have a co-host, like in this case, I have Mr. Nemero. I can add him on as a co-host to my meeting. And then if I wanted to create a poll, I could go ahead and create a poll. But now when I go back to Zoom, I see that now I have all of my meetings scheduled right here. I can go ahead from this platform. I can start the meeting. It'll ask me to open up Zoom and I can start the meeting. Another way you can schedule a meeting is just by going from your Zoom. Let's go to zoom.pwcsbackpack.com, signing in, and then looking at my meetings. So if I already had an existing meeting, I can get this meeting ID right here. Go ahead and copy it. And then I can go in, I can click the three dots and I can import the meeting. I can type it, I can paste it. And now it's gonna import in that previous meeting that I had into my course as well. I can go ahead and delete the meeting from my Canvas course. The one thing you cannot do is if you have a, a reoccurring like office hours and you have multiple courses you're teaching, you can't put that same import, that same meeting into one course and then also into another. Well, inside of the Canvas Zoom, you have, you can see your upcoming meetings, your previous meetings, you'll see a personal meeting room, they will not. And then you'll see any cloud recordings, the students and the parents will be able to click here and see any recordings that have been made from previous classes. Well, let's talk about how if you did have that office hours, how would you set up a reoccurring meeting like this that was in multiple courses? So for that, I'm gonna to go to another course. I'm gonna to go to this one. And instead of having Zoom enabled over here, I'm gonna use what's called the redirect tool. So I'm gonna to go to apps. I'm gonna type in redirect tool. I'm gonna to click on it. I'm gonna click add app. And instead of redirect tool, I'm gonna to say office hours. And instead of this link right here, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go into my meetings. I'm gonna click copy meeting invitation. And really, all I really want is this link right here. So I'm gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna paste it. And then I don't have to show force open a new tab. It'll actually pop up inside of Canvas, but I wanna make sure I put it in course navigation. And I'm gonna click add app. 
Now when I hit refresh, I see at the bottom I have office hours. So I want to move it so students can see it. So I'm going to take it and drag it up. Maybe put it right up here under announcements and I'm going to hit save. And so then now from the student perspective, a student will click here, they'll click office hours, and then it automatically opens up Zoom for them. They don't have to click on a link, they don't have to click join. Just by clicking here, it automatically opens Zoom. I think that really helps our, our students, especially our students at the lower elementary and early middle school ages.